Dr. Willie Ruff, the recently retired Yale School of Music professor and founder of the Duke Ellington Fellowship at Yale, is a musician, writer, and educator of wide-ranging interests and influences. Ruff was born and raised in Shellfield, Alabama, a city across the river from Florence, Alabama, the birthplace of W.C. Handy, the father of the blues. As a six-year-old second grader, Ruff met Handy and was excited to shake his hand. Many years later, he became one of the founders of the W.C. Handy Music Festival in Florence, Alabama. In 1991, Ruff published A Call to Assembly, the autobiography of a movie storyteller, a critically acclaimed memoir for which he won the American Society Composers, Authors, and Publishers Deems Taylor Award for music writing. In 1994, he was inducted into the Alabama Jazz Hall of Fame, and in 2001, he was elected an International Horn Society Honorary Member. Ruff received the Connecticut Governor's Art Award in 2000 for his work with the Duke Ellington Fellowship Program. In 2013, Ruff was awarded the Sanford Medal. Sanford Medal is the highest honor from Yale University School of Music. After becoming a modestly com competent drummer and boogie woogie piano player, Ruff lied about his age and enlisted into an army band at 14. Failing to keep up with his older professionals there, he was summarily fired. But having noticed the component, French horn players are always in high demand. He talked his bandmaster into letting him learn the unforgiving child killer instrument. By the time he was 16, he was good enough to be accepted into the 766th Army Air Corps Band in Columbus, Ohio, among the famed Tuskegee Airmen. There he met the resident 19-year-old piano playing genius named Dr. Willie Ruff, Alabama Jazz Hall of Farmer, a famer has had distinguished career as performer, educator, and writer. Ivory White Miller Mitchell, who taught him to play the bass fiddle. While in the Army, Ruff and Mitchell played a duo that lasted throughout their entire military stint. Only when both musicians got out of the Army did they part ways. Following his military service, Ruff completed his Bachelor of Music degree in 1953 and his Master of Music degree in 1954. As fate would have it, when both men completed their education, Ruff at the Yellow School of Music and Mitchell at the Philadelphia Musical Academy, they reunited in Lionel Hampton's band. In 1955, the two friends struck out on their own as the Mitchell-Ruff duo, working the U.S. nightclub and concert circuits, often as the opening attraction of luminaries such as Louis Armstrong, Duke Ellington, Miles Davis, Count Basie, Sarah Vaughn, and Dizzy Gillespie. Later, they began recording and introducing jazz to new audiences from Russia to China and beyond. The duo performed off and on for more than 50 years. With the death of Dwight Mitchell in 2012, Ruff refocused his efforts on teaching, making musical documentaries, and appearing on the global concert and lecture circuit, which he continues today.